a very happy birthday to uh, many many guitar players today it's a beautiful day in northern california summer is going strong it may not be summer yet but she's going strong nonetheless first off an icon of the guitar world uh, mr noki edwards was born on this day in lahoma oklahoma of course he started with buck owens and quickly moved to the ventures where he made a whole bunch of hit a whole bunch of hit songs um he he left and became a solo artist for quite some time after return and then he returned to the ventures recently he's worked with deke dickerson another icon a more recent icon in the guitar world and he's also starred in um in a lot of tv shows like deadwood um he started in deadwood so there you go also born in schenectady new york on this day mr steve katz he was the original guitar player for blood sweat and tears he studied early on with dave van ronk and also Reverend Gary Davis. He became fast friends with Mr. Stephen Grossman. Um, after he left Blood, Sweat, and Tears, he got um, he got involved on the other side of the glass, so to speak, and he produced uh, such luminaries as Lou Reed. Hmm. Well, eventually he became the vice president of Mercury Records. I'm not sure what he's doing exactly right now, but I'm sure he's having fun, whatever it is. Also, it is the birthday of uh, Richie Furry, Richie Furre, born on this day in Yellow Springs, Ohio. Of course, Richie was the guitar player, original guitar player with Stephen Stills in the Buffalo Springfield. Also went on to, to be in a band, a, a very influential band with the sort of country rock music of the early 70s, and that is Poco. And after that, he left to start a band with J.D. Souther, Chris Hillman, and that would be the Souther Hillman Band, where that song I played, uh, Fallen in Love, was one of their big hit songs. And he's still out there playing as we speak. Uh, finally, it is the birthday of another icon. This icon happens to be in country music. Born on this day in Brooklyn, Nova Scotia, Canada, a man who survived the Great Depression. Great Depression. He bought his first guitar by selling fish tongues. So, uh, if you think you got it bad, uh, he moved to Nashville in 1945. Oh, I'm speaking of Mr. Hank Snow. Um, Hank is responsible for bringing Elvis onto the Grand Old Opry um, to make his first appearance in 1954. Also responsible for better or for worse, introducing uh, Elvis to Colonel Tom Parker. So very influential in Elvis's uh, beginning of his career. And here's a little song that Hank, it was more of Hank's theme song. He covered it. It was written by a guy from Australia, believe it or not. A little song called I've Been Everywhere. It goes like this. I was toting my pack along a dusty winter muckaroo. When along came a semi with a high-end canvas cover load. If you're going to win a muckamac with me, you can ride. So I hopped up in the cab and I settled down inside. He asked me if I'd seen a road with so much dust and sand. And I said, listen, but I've traveled every road in this here land. I've been everywhere, man. I've been to Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota, Buffalo, Toronto, Winslow, Sarasota, Wichita, Tulsa, Ottawa, Oklahoma, Tampa, Panama, Panama, La Paloma, Bangor, Baltimore, Salvador, Amarillo, Philadelphia, 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 Philadelphia,
everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. And I've crossed the deserts, man, man. And I've been the mountain, yeah, man. Travel, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. Woo! Thank you very much, everybody. Please support Vinji Guitar and all the wonderful things they do because they do many, many, many wonderful things, including bringing me to you. But also they give us um, so many other interesting um, stuff on the social media, as well as a lovely magazine, which I highly recommend, full of all kinds of guitar porn and wonderful articles. So check it out. Thank you, guys. Bye.